<laughs> What's up, y'all? So today we at the motherfucking park for this review video because I feel like you bitches played in my face with this motherfucking whole show. Like you bitches literally got on, you bitches literally got on Zeus and play in my motherfucking face. So today I'm finna play back in you bitches' faces. Fuck. Christina, bitch. I know you didn't pay for your motherfucking makeup artist, bitch. He even had to you for three days, bitch. It's $150. If you ain't got that motherfucking money for your motherfucking makeup, bitch, you not getting your motherfucking makeup done, bitch. Uh -huh. Bitch, try again. Uh, what's going on, insane gang? Uh, what's going on, insane gang? This is me. You back in the motherfucking video, bitch. We at the park. In the beautiful outside, in the nature, looking cute, you know, what we do. This is the first motherfucking review of the new Baggers Club Zeus spinoff. Now, y'all know I'm about to read down because, like, <laughs> baby, this, this whole show in general blew me. Like, I was literally sitting on my bed irritated the whole time because I'm like, 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 I know all my bitches is gonna storm to this video because I have not posted in like two or three months. Bitch, I've been getting myself together. My credit, my body, my my skin got clearer. I don't know how I did that. So like, girl, don't think a bitch ain't just been, you know, ain't working on shit. I got music videos coming out. An album that's dropping June 25th. My album drops June 25th. June 25th. June 25th. June 25th. It's called Aha uh -huh, Bitch Try Again. And it's gonna be all bop. I really want y'all to really get in tune. I really have been putting a lot of work in, um, hard work and dedication into it. I've been at the studio like for weeks, literally just like putting in work, putting in work, putting in work. I'm definitely gonna give y'all all bops. Like it's gonna be, y'all know how I get, so I ain't really gotta tell you too much, but June 25th, my album drop on all streaming platforms. Get ready, hoes. It's that type of party. So we just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get into the get into the because I know this what y'all came to see. Bitch! When I say I got notes on deck, I got notes on deck, bitch. You always play in my face. Like, play in my face. First and fucking foremost, we got everybody coming into the house, you know, doing a little one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, Natalie is first because that's that girl. Natalie comes in saying like, oh, she, you know, she been the baddest bitch. Everybody know her for being the baddest bitch. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like she's really known for being like, that chin girl, like, you know, the, the chin girl. Like, I feel like everybody be like, you know, that's that girl with the chin from Bad Girls Club. But, I mean, if she known now for being the baddest bitch, and that's what she known for. But, back in the day, it was basically, it was really like, Crimson Chin, Natalie Nunn. Like, that's that's what she was. I'm not knocking Natalie. I feel like she is the baddest bitch now, like, you know, of the whole Bad Girls Club thing. Like, she really was, like, running the show. Like, I'm thinking it's like, cast member, cast member, cast member, cast member. Whole time, she just, like, directing everything. So, I guess. Um, then you got Sarah come in. to see her for her calling Natalie out on her surgery. Because y'all know Natalie claimed that she didn't get no surgery. And her chin is the same. I don't know how to fuck her chin down fast. Two whole sides, bitch. Your chin went from this to this. I don't know if you pushed that motherfucker. I don't know if you pushed that motherfucker into your face or whatever you did. But, girl, you did not look like that before. But, yeah, it was, um, seeing, um, Sarah calling out. Natalie talking about some, oh, I was with you. I was with you when you got your lips done. And da 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 And then Sarah come to the house. Sarah looked cute. Natalie look like how Natalie look like. She be wearing like WWE outfits and like motherfucking like, you know, she like she like a good leotard. And Sarah come in like, you know, talking her shit, saying like, oh, you know, everybody knows Sarah Oliver for being, you know, having a strong person on the side. Like, I feel like she really came, you know, came through her shit. She talking about what she did on Beggar's Club. Sarah did have a strong willpower and a strong personality, but this, this surgery is giving me real like, you be looking at Sarah, you be like, girl, like, what's going on with your face? Like, I don't know what, what's like, is, is your face on the bus open? <laughs> like, like, girl, is your face on the bus open? Is that what's gonna happen? Cause your shit look like, you're like, my face, it don't move. <laughs> girl, like, I don't know what you got going on, but definitely as a surgery, you need to slow down on it. Cause you definitely was always pretty. Like, you ain't have to do all that. I know you had a little wrinkles, a little curl feet, a little here and there, but bitch. It's, it's giving it's giving real plastic Barbie doll. Like, for real, for real. Like, before you used to look like a doll, now you like, actually look like a, like a, a plastic ass doll. Hey, do your shit. You got the money for it. Okay, then next you got um Seven coming in. I feel like she had the most natural intro. I feel like she was very, you know, humble. She came in talking about herself, talking about, you know, like she didn't, was a bit hesitant about doing the show and she didn't really know what she was gonna do. And she just came to like network and stuff. And like, you know, she was known for um just basically standing up for herself and on the other side. Like, I feel like out of everybody, Seven was the most genuine. Everybody else was putting on some type of act of front. I did not fuck with that. Seven was the only person that came in the house to actually act like herself like I don't know if that was only me but 
It's just like everybody else was doing too much. I don't get it. Christina was next. I really didn't fuck with Christina intro thing because she like, oh, I've been known for being a fighter and being all this shit. But like, when they tried to do that first uh, OnlyFans spinoff, you was kissing everybody's ass. And if you supposed to be the um uh, fighter girl that you known for beating bitches up, you should have beat them hoes up. Simple shit. You you supposed to be known for being the baddest fighter and all this other shit, but you let them motherfuckers all them talk crazy to in the group chat. Oh, calm down, guys. Like, girl, Christina, I'm not fucking with that. Like, I'm fucking with that. You did you did get in Natalie face and do that to her. Like, cause it, it's about time somebody smacked the shit out of Natalie. But at the same time, all that, like, you know, we know for you to fight, but we want to know, like, more about you. Like, if you talking about some, you're not trying to portray that image no more. You're trying to, you know, do something. Like, show us something new. Like, you got a whole music out and stuff like that that be charted. Like, you could have came talking about that, but you come talk about fighting and shit and really, like, I, I really want to see you, like, do what you say you're doing. Since you, know, since you the fighter of the house, bitch, I need you to land these hoes up. Judy comes in next. Tell me how she like the right music and travel and all this other stuff. She known for being a star. Um, Judy, why the fuck is your wig fucked up like that? I don't, girl, I don't, girl, this is, this is a TV show. You know damn well you're gonna be on the camera. Okay, I know I be coming, coming on um, YouTube a little dusty, but this is YouTube, bitch. This is not gonna be a stream all across the motherfucker. It will one day, but it ain't right now. I'm just saying, girl, your motherfucker, girl, what is, girl, what? You got a whole pink wig, a uh, uh, tan lace, and then your motherfucking baby heroes fighting each other. Girl, get the fuck out of my face, Judy. You know you really played in my face with that wig. You play in my face with that wig. That's why we at the park, bitch, for your wig. After Judy introduced herself, then that's when Sydney Star come in and said, like, oh, basically it's her time. And, like, you know, she was supposed to be a replacement on BGC now. And, um, like, you know, it's she gonna be the first transgender bad girl. Like, I live for Sydney being on the show, but I don't live for Sydney's personality. I live for it being a trans girl on the show because it needs to, like, that needs to be a breakthrough thing. Because when they do, like, do that. Girl, get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Damn. I live that, like, you know, it's a trans girl doing her shit. Like, you know, she making shit happen. But at the same time, girl, you don't got to get on there doing too much. Like, you making the trans girls look bad at the same time. Like, for you to be saying you the representation and all this stuff, you should have came on there representing yourself as a woman. So, therefore, you can, like, you know, make it normalized. You coming out standing in, standing on chairs and doing all this other extra shit. Like, girl, we, we going to get to it when we get into it. Just really. And then we got Tanisha come in talking about some, um... You know, she don't need no introduction. You know, she really don't because she know she been doing this shit for years. Y'all saw that beef online. She said she was tired of being locked down and she was tired of being in the house and being a mom and all this other stuff. But like, I really feel like the beef was really fake online because like how y'all was so into it. She talked about your daughter and your kids and your and, and all this other stuff. But then you come right in the house and y'all kicking it cool. And like, and then it's like y'all acting like y'all not like with each other all the time when the camera's not on. So it's like, Bitch, this shit just seemed fake to me. Like, it just, like, everybody was really, like, full gazy as hell coming up on the motherfucking screen. Like, it just gave me very, like, scripted tease. And I hate scripted shit because I'm an unscripted bitch. Then last we got Janelle coming in. Basically, Janelle was just saying, like, oh, you know, she she was known for being, like, I don't even, Janelle intro was really, really short. But basically, she was just saying, like, she was coming to show that she a bad bitch. She liked to drink party. Like, okay. All right, Janelle, this, this is going to be the extent of your whole, like, Shabab then hey let it be but I thought we was gonna really like you know trying to get to know you so then we got into the intro song the intro song is a fool I don't know who picked the intro song but that shit is a flop Fugazi very like very much so like I hated it like the the whole slow motion thing like y'all should have gave us some fast bad girl this is a bad girls club spin off give us some bad girls club type shit when the intro come on bad girls club is known for having an iconic ass intro y'all don't come and give me this motherfucking sad ass motherfucker Move to the left, move to the right ass intro, bitch. No, that shit was irritating. I'm sitting here looking at this shit like, bro, I see I'm have to fast forward this shit every time, cause uh uh. Okay, so they kick off the show with Natalie on the phone with Sarah, basically FaceTime her, telling her like, oh, she don't know about Tanisha and if she, if she don't come to the motherfucking casting, um, shoot or not. I mean, I feel like that was really just stupid, cause a does she gonna come to the casting shoot if she signed up for the show? So y'all yeah, said, oh, I don't know if Tanisha gonna show up or not. Like, girl, she gonna show up a dub because. It's the cast and shoot. She's not gonna not show up to a shoot when she's on the show. Like y'all making unnecessary shit. Things like that, like girl, just just unnecessarily like thinking that we dumb and just like, you know, just putting extra stuff that was in me. Sarah come in, you know, basically she finally come to the house because Natalie was talking on the phone like, when you gonna get here? And she come in, I feel like Sarah looked cute. Judy came in looking at high ass man. She had a broom saying like, oh, she was the witch. She was gonna clean up the house and all. You know, Judy always gotta get her little gimmick and her little one and two. That's, that's her brand. Let her live. Let her do what she do. But girl, Judy's kind of getting a love. Like girl, you, you 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 could give us something new, literally. Um. So um, now that like you know they come to the house and stuff, and you know she's showing off around the rooms and stuff. It's very much so given that Natalie is the realtor of the house. Like I don't know how like it's the bad girls club, but it's like Natalie and then the bitches. 
like it's, this show should have been called Natalie and the Bitches because literally she opening the door, showing everybody their rooms, and you know doing all this other stuff. But this is a bad girl club, a house or a bad girl spinoff or whatever they fuck you're trying to do it. Like I feel like everybody should have came in, even if Natalie did was a part of the production. Like come in equally. Like you all motherfucking on the phone calling bitches, talking about when the fuck y'all get. Like girl, what? Even if y'all saying this a new bad girl club spinoff, we want to see bad girls club, bitch. Like you bad girls club hoes. So like everybody should have came, did their little segment, like walking in the house, and Natalie should have even if though she like you know she helped get the house. Like if y'all gonna be fake be fake at the right part the bitch be fake like oh come in there be excited pick the room like y'all bitches know damn well y'all was already in that house before i already sent the motherfucking rooms i already knew where y'all was gonna stay so like if y'all gonna be phony be phony the right bitch so that's when natalie told judy that she gonna be sharing a room with sydney star and she's like oh i don't want to share a room with Vienna sausage Judy is really getting out of hand with these transphobic comments. I mean, I know that she's a fan for every girl type of girl and everybody fuck with her, but girl, a lot of these comments is very uncalled for and very like, you know, you're doing a little too much. Like you can, you can, you can insult Sydney a hell of other different ways than just having like transphobic slurs. Like I'm not fucking with Judy really like this episode. Like I it really like made me look at her a totally different way. They say, um, Judy say like Sydney got a big mouth so she can get the big bed. I'm just guessing she just doing this cause she know damn well Sydney big as fuck. Like girl, she gonna need a big ass bed. That bitch is that bitch is body, no bad, body yadi yadi. Like she gonna need a big bed. That's after they um did their part, they did Sydney Star's part. And she come in talking about some how she always wanted to be a baddie and she happy that she got to the house and she telling Natty like oh pinch me and stuff and like you know she happy that she finally got her chance and I, I, I really like that because it's like you know even if she is a trans woman like why would she not get her chance her shot like she not coming to be hoes up like it's not the regular bad girls clubhouse so like you know I'm glad that like she got this opportunity and I feel like other bitches should be too like you know even though she unknown and she wasn't on the show. Show. Like, for it's not even about the whole bad girls club thing. It's more about a, like a LGBT thing. Like, I would love to see a trans woman, you know, thriving and doing what she have to do, and basically like, you know, making it on on the scene with like, you know, the the cis woman, cis the woman. Now, all the extra shit she doing, all the extra like, one, like she she making the girls look bad. But I feel like her being there is good. Now, her acting the way she acting is is it's not acceptable. Sydney walking the room with Judy and um, Natty like, oh my god, like I didn't know y'all was beefing. And then Sydney like, oh we have a crazy relationship and shit. And I'm like, Natty, bitch, you know damn where them hoes is beefing. Like, you talking about, some, oh I didn't know what the beef was about. Y'all gotta update me. Like, bitch, you you know what the fuck is going on. Like, stop acting stupid, bitch. You got Instagram just like all the rest of us. Like, these bitches been beefing since back in the day. And then Seven finally come. I don't know why, but I'm living for Seven on this show. Like, she's giving me very much so like nonchalant bad. Like she. So me seven is really one of the prettiest bitches in the house and she's very like you know laid back and kicking it like she ain't end up trying to do too much she just chilling like you know she ain't trying to start shit up like i fuck with that about seven seven came looking really cute um i feel like natalie was kind of selling her a dream about getting on the show she's telling her like oh come on you're gonna be networking and you're gonna you know be able to promote your business and your brand like girl damn, you know damn well you don't want her on this motherfucking show to promote you don't go fuck about what business she got going on what brand she trying to promote you just want her to get on here look cute and fight Act like it, bitch. Um, after um, you know, Seven do her introduction, she leave and go with Tanisha, cause like she said, like she not fucking with how the house look. It's supposed to be like a haunted house on the hill. That house do look creepy as fuck. Like they did motherfucking seances and goat motherfucking um sacrifices in that bitch, cause this is motherfucking stars and symbols on the doors and shit. And that's probably Natalie as charming these toes. Like Natalie probably got these bitches under motherfucking spell or some shit, cause girl, the way these girls acted up in her ass, under all of her motherfucking ass cheeks, she gotta be doing something to these bitches. Tanisha fucking voice sound like she Darth Vader or some shit. Like, like, she was up, y'all. You was up, like, you know, you ready for the show. Like, girl, Tisha, why you sound like that, girl? You sound like you got, like, my balls in your throat or something, girl. Like, that's not cute, baby. You should have, you know, gargled some salt water or something before you got up on the motherfucking screen. Sound like my fucking Terminator, bitch. I can't, uh uh, I couldn't do it. But, uh, Tisha said the only uh, thing that she had about being on the show is that she wasn't gonna move in the house. And I mean, I feel like that's also like doing too much. It's like, if y'all trying to do a back and stuff spin off, why is it like some people in the house and some people not? Like, y'all all outside and shit. Scenes in like different places and like it just takes away from the authentic, authentic, authenticity, bitch, of the show. Mm. Janelle being stuck in this snowstorm, I guess she um didn't be able to make it on time. Um, I basically she was her flight was in. The, I don't know what the fuck happened. This bitch ain't had no clothes. She was late. Girl, she didn't even do the motherfucking cast that photo. Like Janelle is uh, doing a lot right now. She didn't. She didn't did a lot of shit to her face. She looked like a motherfucking girl. I don't know what she put 
in her face, but girl, she look like a whole different bitch. I mean, it look cute from some angles, and I'ma just, I'ma leave it there. <laughs> now it's the photo shoot, girl. The photo shoot was a motherfucking key. The photo shoot was the motherfucking key, key cackle. So first off, we going to the motherfucking toast of them all up in the dress room and shit. Sydney said she about to kick it off because she ready to talk about it. She like, is Judy's makeup done? It don't look like it. And then Judy like, you need your makeup done because you're a man. I'm like, like I would, I, Judy, like girl, I like you really are a big, like person in the LGBT community and these transphobic comments that's coming out your mouth is really gagging me but at the same time it's like Sydney literally just started some shit out of nowhere like girl she wasn't even talking about you you talking about some oh is your makeup done like you ready to talk bitch shut up so Natalie started telling like um Judy to stop and like stop saying stuff about um Sydney and then so Sydney started doing too much basically just saying like bitch this why I don't fuck with you Wait. This why I don't fuck with you. Basically, like, um, you um called up to Bankers Club and told them, like, don't um put me on the show because you was jealous. Basically, her and Julie started going to first, and she was like, because you're a man, Sydney, because you're a man. And then that's when Sydney, um, Natalie got into the Judy face and was like, girl, stop doing all that shit. And then that's when she was like, be for real, like, for real, like, come on. And then no, Judy was like, no, you be for real, like, for real, like, be, come on. So, like, they had their little spat, then that's when Sydney and Christina started arguing because I guess Sydney wanted Christina to not fuck with Judy because she um did some backstabbing shit towards her. I feel like they don't got shit to do with Christina, so why the fuck would she stop fucking with Judy because some shit that she said? Like, Sydney gave me way too much in this scene. Like, her, for this to be her initial scene about, like, you know, us meeting her and shit, like, you're already doing too much and this is the first episode. So then this bitch goes and stands on the chair and starts talking her shit, pointing her fingers and shit, and then Judy come and move next to her. <laughs> that devil's sickening. Judy come move next to her, Sydney jump off the chair. She said, bitch, you knew the move. Bitch, you knew the move, cause Judy's gonna kick that bitch. <laughs> Judy's gonna kick that motherfucking chair from under that bitch. Like, that was funny as hell. She said, you knew the move, bitch. You knew the move. Judy um, name drop Erica from BGC9, saying like, even Lucy know that she was trying to be on some fuck funny shit with me. And then she started throwing like condoms and shit at her. So about some, you a dirty ass bitch. And da like, Sydney, you're giving too much. Like, it's, it's, at this point, it's just like, girl, we already kind of wasn't fucking with you being here. But now you overstand your welcome. Like, you should come in very humble, very like, you know, I'm a trans woman. Like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, talk about your transition, talk about your life, your struggles. Like, you off here trying to talk about you didn't get on the bag of sub spin off because of Judy. Okay, well, the shit was all them years ago. They're not gonna call you back now. Why are you still mad? And then Judy, if she did do that shit, then she's just a grimy ass bitch you can't fuck with. She obviously transphobic. She don't fuck with the trans girls. It's like you arguing with her to get nowhere. Like, she's not gonna start to fuck with you out of nowhere. She's not gonna apologize. So what's the point? They leave from the whole um, scene in the situation. I guess like, you know, they split it up and stuff and then Tanisha come. So they still like the motherfucking Usher from the motherfucking church handing out motherfucking peppermint and motherfucking collected dollars and shit. She got this whole funeral thing going on. Girl, I did not live for that. You could have gave me something really sickening. Like, you are mother, bitch. You could have gave me something really like Bill, you could have gave me a moment. Like, you really could have gave me a moment and you just had to dress up in all black. Girl, this ain't motherfucking Shorty Temple Tans, bitch. Like, you look like an old ass grandma. Like, we not, we not trying to get that from you. We, we want mother. Not grandma, bitch. Mother. Now, this is, I guess, the first time Natalie and Tanisha seen each other since they hold beef online. And, um... Like, it was very awkward. Like, the conversation was really, like, weird. Like, you know, they was trying not to, like, I see Tanisha wasn't trying to, like, get close to her and shit. Y'all know I already got a motherfucking snack, bitch. I'm hungry. A banji piece of roll. Y'all love a banji piece of roll? Ain't it like a banji piece of roll? Saying, like, oh, Natalie, don't start. And Natalie was like, oh, she gonna try to hit her with the bottle. Let me get a bottle just in case. And she like, oh, I'm not gonna hit you. And it was just weird. Like, the whole... That whole little scene was weird. Then Christina pop up out of nowhere like, oh, why'd you wanna follow me, Tanisha? Like, I hate it. Why you wanna follow me, ass bitch? Because, girl, who gives a fuck? Like, who gives a fuck if a bitch don't follow you? Like, girl, you... It's, it's billions of bitches on any fucking platform. You can get a new follower any fucking day. Like, I don't go fuck and a bitch follow me and I'm not finna go ask no bitch, oh, why did you wanna follow me? Who cares? Like, if I was Christina from the back of the club, I would've came in there and bossed up. Like, girl, y'all know how I get. I might not have been on a lot of shows with y'all, but y'all know how I get. And I would've been like, you know, she should've been on some gangster shit. Like, Christina, girl, you, you not giving me what, you not giving me what it's supposed to give. And they start doing the motherfucking, um, the photo shoot. Tanisha instantly just start reading every bitch. She talking about Natalie, like, she from the Players Foot Club. She said Christina, like, she from fucking Old Town Road. She got some motherfucking cowboy shit on. Judy ass, drunk as fuck, all on the floor, Sydney Star looking fucking, uh, she said she like she came from hell looking like hot ass man, like, Tanisha is reading, like, Tanisha is reading Duke of Down, like, 
she is, is giving the girls what they need to give. But I feel like Tanisha, girl, you got a lot of mouth, and I really hope nobody smack you. Because you really be talking a lot, a lot of shit. You is an older lady, but girl, old bitches can get smacked too. They doing the, the um, photo shit or whatever, and Sarah get mad because she like, oh, I'm tired of going last, and everybody always putting me last, and I don't want to be last every time. And it's like, girl, Sarah, shut the fuck up, girl. You doing too much, for real. They on the phone trying to call Janelle snowbound ass, and you all up in the motherfucking background talking about some, oh, you want you want to um go before who? It doesn't matter the order of the picture. They're all going to get posted at some point. So if the pictures are all going to get posted at some point, why the fuck would you feel like you need to um like go first, second, or third? Like, they're just pictures, and it really don't matter. But then they, like, talking to Janelle on the phone, and, like, Janelle on the phone trying to tell her about, like, why the fuck she not at the shooting shit. She talking all over him, like, like, that was really irritating. Like, you really look like you too old for that, girl. Like, you talking about, oh, why they not, why am I not first? I'm tired of going last. And, like, girl, they trying to talk to her about what the fuck she at, what's going on with her. You talking about what the fuck pictures in the order. Like, that, that kind of irritated me, too. Like, girl, we at the fucking park because you hoes playing in my face. Like, this is really senseless beef for nothing. And Sarah get mad again because she, I guess she at the motherfucking end of the photo shoot line. And she not fucking with her positioning. And this is like, girl, okay, like. I can understand you don't want to be at the end, but girl, you body. So like, if you body, bitch, you need to be at the end where your body could show. They want to see like, you know, your whole figure. You being in the middle, you're going to just be like front way. So photography wise, of course they would want to put you at the end because bitch, you got a nice ass body and that's going to look good in the fucking picture. Duh. Now, after the whole fucking um, photo shoot is over, Tanisha and Natalie sit down and talk about their whole beef that they had. Mind you, this conversation was just like, it was very like, weird as fuck because it was like what are y'all even talking about and then the same time it was just like we kind of already seen the beef online so y'all rehashing the same shit that we already seen okay y'all so basically i'm at work right now with whatever i'm gonna just do the last thing really quick because i need to get this motherfucking video up tonight but last thing was the Tanisha and Natalie conversation. I mean, it was very cringy. They said they was gonna talk about it more on the next episode. So it was really not that serious, but it just gave, like they was like smelling and stuff in between. So it was like really like not serious, but serious at the same time. This lighting is eating, no doubt. I'm just saying that most importantly, these hoes fall. Like with the whole um, makeup artist situation. Basically, um, if Christina did pay that motherfucking makeup artist when he said pay him, then I wouldn't be surprised if he wouldn't do her makeup again. Like. If you want to do some services, you sit. Okay, okay, bitch. Okay, bitch. Damn, I can't do shit. Basically, I mean, I can understand why Natalie would want Christina to use her makeup artist. Because if you running around playing with his money, he got to ask you seven hours later. Well, you know damn well nobody finna do no fucking makeup for free. It's 2021. Ain't no fucking body beating faces for free at all. So, like, yeah, I can understand why would she get mad. But when Christina popped, I mean, I'm pretty sure she didn't connect the smack. But what it gave from the clip, I think Natalie beat Christina ass. Because Natalie wig came off and y'all know Christina has... Okay, it's two of them. Is it two of them? It's, it's two of them. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. This is so ghetto. Look where I work at, y'all. Ain't this so cute? Yeah, bitch. Stop playing with me. <laughs> if she really, like, you know, was calling him out his name, doing all this other stuff, and she really tried to, like, run off and not pay him, then that's bogus as fuck. And I understand why Natalie would, like, you know, not want her, him to do her fucking um, makeup. Because, girl, she only really had him there to do her face and then touch up anybody else. And you the bitch that's not paying, so you the bitch not getting touched up. But you could tell kind of Christina was getting mad about it because it was like, it's kind of true because she never denied, like, not paying him. She's like, did you get paid? Did you get paid? It doesn't matter if he got paid. Bitch, I shouldn't have to chase you around seven hours later for my motherfucking money. Natalie went in the room, talked to Sarah about it, then that's when she walked in Christina's room, and Christina was like, you know, you always barging into places. And then before she did walk in Christina's room, she did knock and say, you know, I'm not gonna just walk in your room. But it could have been other times when Natalie could just walk in her shit, cause like I said, it's times that they not filming. So yeah, I just feel like we gonna see next episode when this fight come. Make sure y'all tune back in, which I know y'all is.